Hey everyone, this is Nitro. Have you ever had a situation in Langrisser where you toss out a big AoE with a lot of damage and then the enemy somehow manages to survive? For example, let's take a look here. The Executioner here has 2002 hit points. I send Ooh. Bernhard in with a Sword Dance, which is supposed to do 3000 damage. But somehow, even though I did 3000 damage, the Executioner is still alive. So, why did that 3002 damage pop-up appear, and yet this Executioner manages to live? If we click on it, it actually still has 602 hit points. Well, I'll explain the reason why in this video. First, for the most basic damage scenario, I'm going to just have Lana charge down south and toss out an AoE attack on these two enemies. And let's see how much damage it deals to each one. So, we got around 4400 damage onto the Executioner and roughly 5500 onto the Lancer General. So, let's take a look and break that down. The 4400 onto the Executioner is actually divided amongst the Executioner, the General, as well as the Guardian Infantry, right? If we calculate this out, it is roughly, let's say, 1800 damage to the Executioner, and then the Guardian Infantry had suffered roughly 2600 damage. So 1800 plus 2600 is equal to the 4400 damage pop-up. Similarly, if we look at the Lancer General now, the Lancer General has taken 2800 roughly, 2800 damage. As for the Phallic Soldiers, they took 2800 as well. So 2800, let's say 2800 plus 2800, would be 5600. I was probably a little bit off my estimate, so it was 5500 damage pop up. So, roughly, this is how roughly how the damage dealt shows up. Looking back at the executioner, we noticed that the executioner had taken much less damage than the guardian infantry. Right? He took 1800, and I think the guardian infantry took around 25, 2600. The reason for this damage difference is generally due to the soldiers or the leaders' magic defense values, right? Lana's Heaven Sanction does 0.35 times AoE damage, right? Uh, and the Executioners had 574 magic defense, while the Guardian Infantry only had 282. Thus, it led to a huge damage difference where the Executioners took much less damage. The damage pop-ups are especially confusing when you're attacking a target that has the soldiers dead. For example, let's take a look at this Executioner here, who has 68, 62 hit points with no soldiers. I am going to have Bernhard come down and use a sword dance. So it's supposed to do 1900 damage with 3620 damage. There. Now. If we take a look at the Executioner now, the Executioner shows that it has 4192 hit points. Well, what happened there? Because we were supposed to do 1983 damage plus 3620 damage. Keep in mind that before it had 6862 hit points. So the hit point loss on the Executioner was far lower than expected, right? it only lost 2,670 hit points, which is far less than 1983 plus 3620, which added up together was supposed to be 5603 damage. The reason for this massive reduction in damage is because those damage pop-up numbers continue to show the damage that you would be doing to the Guardian Infantry, as well as to the enemy general, the Executioner in this case. So, even though the Guardian Infantry are actually all dead, the damage pop-up number continues to show the damage that you would theoretically do to them. 
So, in effect, I was supposed to do 5,603 damage. I actually only did 2,670 damage here in this case. The remaining damage that was the difference, which is 2,933 damage, that damage would have actually gone into the Guardian Infantry if they were alive, but they weren't. Third, let's talk about the fixed damage pop-up. So, I'm going to have Bernhard, who has the Rupture skill that does 2 times hero's attack value in fixed damage, toss out a Sword Dance. The first damage number is from his attack, the second damage number, the 3620, is from the Rupture. So, the Rupture fixed damage did 3620 damage because of Bernhard's attack value, right? 3620 divided by 2 is 1810, right? And 1810, if we divide by that by 2, is 905, which is equal to Bernhard's attack value. So just like all the other AoE damages, the damage pop-up is the sum of the damage that this rupture effect would do to both the soldiers as well as the general, in this case the executioner. So effectively, what the rupture fixed damage does is 1810 damage to the leader and 1810 damage to the Guardian Infantry. The pop-up number though will be much higher. If all those Guardian Infantry were dead, as was shown in the previous example, the damage pop-up number will still be 3620, but the actual damage dealt will only be the 1810 that is done to the Executioner. So clearly, from the example we just saw with Bernhard, fixed damage does completely ignore the defense value of the enemy. It's a preset damage based on your character's stats. So it can add a, potentially a ton of damage to the enemy. And in particular, Listel with her Blood Dance skill that does 50% of hit points as fixed damage to the enemy when the turn ends is insanely powerful because Lestelle's hit points can frequently be incredibly high. For example, looking at my Lestelle, her hit point is currently a bit over 7,000 hit points, meaning she does around 3,500 damage with her Blood Dance. The drawback of this, however, is that there are a lot of things that offer fixed damage immunity. In particular, Things that offer that fixed damage immunity include Swordsmith Metal. It includes the SR item, the Meditation Ring. Immunity to fixed damage. In addition to these two items that give immunity to fixed damage, there are also skills on characters that offer immunity to fixed damage. Of note, Juggler who has the skill Great Dragon Barrier will render characters within two blocks of him immune to fixed damage while the Great Dragon Barrier is in effect. Similarly, Chloe has the skill Aurora Ring and this Aurora Ring also offers immunity to fixed damage. Finally, Chloe can frequently provide a random immunity effect, which is immunity to fixed damage as well. There are still other characters who offer immunity to fixed damage. For example, yet another one would include Imelda. Imelda, if she has her exclusive item, Gorgeous Red, after taking action, she will make four allies within two blocks of her immune to fixed damage, and this effect lasts one turn. So tons of... there are... These are the primary ways to get that immunity fixed damage, and it is incredibly powerful because it just counters so many things, right? Uh, you know, Freya becomes absolutely useless. Listel's Blood Dance becomes useless. Even weapons that offer fixed damage either before or after battle, such as the Ragnarok weapon for fixed damage before combat begins, all of these effects will have no impact. It is important to note 
that this game considers self-inflicted damage to also be fixed damage. For example, I am going to first have Imelda end her turn to provide Zerda with immunity to fixed damage. Now, I am now going to have Zerda use her blood Alhazard Bloodthirster skill, which is supposed to sacrifice all soldiers, rendering them unable to be healed. When I activate this skill, because Zerda is immune to fixed damage, all her soldiers ended up surviving. It did not get rid of the soldiers the way Alhazard Bloodthirster is supposed to normally. So this is a very important thing to note because sometimes if you're using Zerda with Bloodthirster and she managed to get immunity to fixed damage, that can completely prevent her from acting the way she should. Because without her soldiers dead, her killing blow skill will not directly hit the enemy general. Another example of this in action is in fact in Listel's Blood Dance skill. Blood Dance is supposed to do 50% of hit points as fixed damage to the enemy when the turn ends. However, the hero loses the same amount of hit points. Remember that my Listel currently has a Sorceress Medal, which grants her immunity to fixed damage. So, when she moves forward and uses the Blood Dance skill, she does fixed damage to the enemy, equals to half her hit points. In fact, this was the same amount as, as her hit points because half of it went into the into the leader, the executioner, and half of it went into the guardian infantry. But she herself lost no hit points at all while doing the blood dance because of her immunity to fixed damage. And that concludes my breakdown of AOE damage and fixed damage. So I hope you found this video useful. Uh, if you have any comments or things that I've missed in this video, please feel free to leave them in the comment section below. That way I can maybe improve on this video and revise it. Thanks for watching everyone. Once again, I hope you found this useful. And on that note, Nitro out.